All right, so here is where we'll be starting off with the Zentarain food stall uh, terrain piece. Um, at this point, it's just been primed, and I've left these components separate because it'll um, it enables the paper to be slid through. Um, but overall, the Zentarain kits I would say are uh, really nice, but more complex than your average kits. But I think it's worthwhile because uh, I really dig the unique appeal to their aesthetic. Uh, so there's no way to say this other than what it is. I actually lost my paper components um, for these, the official ones. So I made my own out of, you know, dollar store Bristol board. I'm pretty jazzed about the solution because these are pre-colored, unlike the one in the official kit, which you have to paint yourself or leave it white. And because I'm going with a green scheme, uh, I used green Bristol board, which will make it nice and easy. All right, so before washing these pieces, I'm going to add some silver to these top vents here and these bottom areas as well uh, to add a bit more variation to the scheme. All right, now, so after adding the silver details in, uh, we're ready to do our all over wash with Agrax Earthshade. This isn't gonna be extremely heavy, uh, just to add a little bit more variation to the piece and increase the visual interest that much more. But to move on, uh, we're going to insert our paper components. Um, the sizes for these, for this kit, they're three inches wide and the bottom is, let's see, I wrote down, the bottom is approximately one inch in length and the top piece is approximately two and one eighth and they're going to slide in like so. We're going to slide in our sign and then uh, glue over this end cap on top, locking everything in place. All right, so the next step will be to make this thing a little bit less monochromatic and add some green panels and some green details to these segmented portions. So now with the green areas base coated, we can begin adding some warpstone glow to these panels to add some vibrancy to this piece. All right, so now our green is looking a lot more vibrant and better fits with the back panel uh, Bristol board card we uh, I slid in earlier. 
I'll be mixing in Moot Green with Warpstone Glow to create the edge highlighting color, which will add a bit more dimension and increase this model's readability. And I also added a bit of metal to this floor grating because I felt it was needed to uh, just separate it from the door and the wall as well. And I'll also be using some Administratum Gray to apply some edge highlighting to the gray areas. And with that, our green and gray areas have now been edge highlighted. So what remains are a few of the details, such as these logos for this uh, little food stall um, and this exit sign. Uh, those areas will be done in a magenta. Um, I'll be basing them in Screamer Pink and using model colors magenta fluorescent. And I'm hoping that between these two colors, we have enough contrast to create uh, the illusion of like a uh, ambiently lit panel or uh, so that it's somewhat illuminated and gives it a little bit of a futuristic feel. Alright, so I finally got the magenta areas looking close to the aesthetic I was desiring for this project. It took several layers to build up the magenta fluorescent paint. It's extremely translucent. So what I ended up doing was actually mixing in some white scar and applying a, a brighter tone to then go on top of with the pure magenta uh, fluorescent color. But with that, it's looking pretty satisfactory for this terrain piece. All that remains is these digital panels. Uh, for the top button, I'm going to be doing red and then, or excuse me, for the top buttons, I'm going to be doing black and then doing red, yellow, and blue uh, for these buttons or view screens, whatever they are, which should add a little bit of uh, visual interest to, you know, just draw your eye around to that detail. Alright, and with that, this piece is pretty much done. Thanks for watching! I've had this project on the back burner for quite a while, and with this one complete, only a few more pieces remain until I pretty much have a table's worth of Zen Terrain terrain complete. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to help this channel grow, please consider subscribing. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll hope to see you guys in the next one.